Hi Sagittarius, welcome into your monthly money and career tarot reading for the month of April 2023. I do want to thank you so much for joining me for this reading, but as we proceed do keep in mind it is general for your month, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And I more than appreciate the likes, the comments, and of course subscriptions to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, but as well, don't forget to check out your other placements within your chart as I continue posting these. But the overall message I got for you um, for your money and career for April, this abundance will change your life forever. This abundance will change your life forever. I feel a peaceful but potentially a little bit dramatic and very strong way about your energy throughout this month in particular um, that could stem from or just be noticed or um, even add to whatever you're producing, developing, accomplishing um, for some jumping into, but obviously it could be more so you continuing. You might get a little bit distracted at certain points, but it's saying take care of your well-being, make sure you're continuing or uh, initiating certain healthy habits, um, routines, you know, say going to the gym, taking care of your skin complexion, drinking enough water, as this is going to benefit the quality of your work and your overall feeling energy. Um, and they're saying stamina when it comes to your um, work, whatever you end up producing, developing, again, uh, getting, uh, being wrapped up with, excuse me, for your career specifically. Let's begin with some Oracle. Okay, flying out, I was a little bit aggressive. Coins, beautiful money coming in, wealth, good investment. Uh, the career aspect of this card talks about sales and finance. There's the potential you could be working in one or if not both of those. Um, and getting a raise and the word lucky at the end of the card. I feel you're very well spoken throughout the month, a level of confidence coming through as well. But who doesn't want to get the coin card talking about abundance raining on and specifically money for you. Um, and this is going to feel rewarding, some of which um, may not believe that being drawn to this reading, but you need to uh, manifest it and believe it all the meanwhile. Um, walking away from this reading, feeling more confident about your financial future. And a reminder that there's a lot more to come uh, down the line for you on the horizon. They're saying around the corner, okay? Um, but I do feel like well, this is more past oriented for you specifically. Um, this good investment that you made, it could be more so when you're planning for it, researching, asking questions in regards to, could be when you're making throughout this month, say a new car, it could be um, a new place of residence. Uh, it could be talking more so about an investment of your energy, your resources, uh, your effort towards um, a career choice, if not multiple. But it feels like something's going to pay off for you big time throughout this month and moving forward. Um, again, that could be results, uh, fruits of your labor, basically, from that business and or job, if not multiple. Uh, but it could be, obviously, say you gain that level of comfort and uh, they're saying beauty in your life from where you're choosing to or have chosen to uh, settle down or to live um, or you now have a more comfortable commute because you're investing or have invested in that car there's a feeling that you are trusting your intuition and should absolutely even more so do this moving forward as this is going to help you achieve certain levels of change and i want to say comfort success um, and to see that money flow in for you more so moving forward once again. It just feels like you're reaping so many rewards throughout April. And this in and of itself feels quite rewarding. And I'm hearing you deserve it. You deserve it. Um, the sword card. Some of you might be thinking about past money conflicts. It might be more in regards to current day needing to clean up things, say, pay off some debt. It might be in regards to you trying to figure out how to pay something um, that might be a little bit tricky might be in regards to you needing to keep an eye uh, or just are keeping an eye on multiple accounts or one in particular to make sure that there's no uh, fishy business taking place, right? Uh, making sure everything's uh, debited and uh, charged and uh, put in properly. Um, everything's clearing uh, as it should. But I also feel like there's a protective nature about you at certain points when it comes to one, if not multiple decisions you made or are making or mulling over. It could be in regards to so be careful what you share is what I'm getting. But I also do feel like there's the potential that you're very protective over your money. I can pretty much guarantee it, this is the case where you've been through the ringer when it comes to your finances. You could have dealt with one, if not multiple scams. And I feel like this has come up in your reading, uh, one of your readings before, if not multiple. You might have um, dealt with uh, certain complications with your account or multiple, right? Or it could have been someone you thought you could have trusted or multiple people. Um, and they did you dirty in one if not multiple ways financially. It happens to the best of some people. 
um, but they're saying try to approach things in a worry-free manner um, and I also feel like with the coins coming in the money flowing in I feel like for some different streams different avenues is what I'm getting you are going to need to just let the worry go and recognize that things are improving for you moving forward um, and to allow for this month to be a savings increase kind of month for you let's pull some small money in career oracle to shift things on forward it was a good start okay money moves yep definitely tying into that um, good investment aspect of the coins card the number three coming into play i feel like your spirituality will take a highlight as well as um okay three important things to accomplish is what i'm getting but as well i feel as if um you are being viewed and even carrying oneself feeling like uh royalty okay again that confidence and spirit saying you set the tone in that work environment in that home situation i'm also hearing be the bigger person right in regards to say one of the multiple conflicts or tricky situations um, difficult person or people that you have to deal with at home and or at work be the bigger person and when in doubt steer clear of any gossip and they're saying bs because we need you to be in tip-top energy it is quite important at this time but a level of things just flowing for you it's like you might have a very busy month for a lot drawn to this reading but i do feel like you are enjoying the busyness the success um and there's a reminder or evidence of which that luck is on your sagittarian side beautiful you're showing me a four leaf clover um i don't know why i just did that uh, but i do feel like the moments when you let loose you chuckle you you know laugh throughout the month and bond with certain people at work and or at home it really helps you okay i feel like you need that release at times needing to not i don't take this the right way to lighten up a bit being kind of uh overly serious focused right wanting things to work out so well um being so mature and responsible at times but it's about finding that balance okay even though i feel like that aspect that side of you part of you way of approaching things will either way be the majority of your month um you can be mature and responsible and have a good time while you're doing what you need to do or choose to do but you're making a lasting impression throughout april as you succeed immensely for your career now if you're beginning a new situation i do feel like this is going to bring you even more abundance but i feel like either way what you're continuing abundance there might be some disturbances with that noise that really did startle me even though i didn't fully show it um i do feel like you're gonna have to deal with certain imperfections at work and or at home noise factors energy your spirituality potentially for some um, but through it all i feel like you're standing out lasting impression i really feel good in your energy it's this commanding way about you where even if you're not choosing per se to gain that attention to draw eyes and ears towards you people are feeling the need to tune into your social media to your work to turn heads to look at you when you're out spending money or just doing what you do whatever that is for you uh, or when you're at work okay um or running your business i feel like there are some entrepreneur sages drawn to the reading who are destined for great success okay and if you get a business idea or have recently and haven't put it to use i feel like this is a month where again there's luck on your side in regards to um, getting that off the ground or taking steps towards seeing that successful for oneself okay but either way once again even if you so choose to not be an entrepreneur and you are destined to work for one of multiple um, companies that leave you they're saying lucrative that leave you uh, wealthy and successful all the meanwhile it's just there's so much success written over all of this reading okay regardless of what you choose to uh, wrap oneself up with okay um i'm hearing wise choices wise choices let's move on to the tarot and see what we get um yeah that was like about nine minutes of oracle but what do we have i'm also hearing don't make oneself nervous because i feel like you at times throughout the month might overthink um second guess potentially even though there is true levels of confidence once again um but i I'm wanting things to just be perfect at times see as i started a bit do not make oneself nervous and do not aim for perfection i feel like you might either way but let go of that idea of perfection and just even accept more so that you have um, true levels of imperfection about the way you do what you do and the, the end product, I want to say, um, that could even add to it, right? It reminds me of the slip ups in these readings. It adds to it in the end, even if I don't love it or it frustrates me or whatever the case may be. 
um, and it adds to the messages, um, the overall reading. I didn't, I don't know if I showed this, standing out, I mean lasting impressions, standing out, um, you being in the spotlight at certain points, whether you ask for it or not. I really do feel like some jumps to the reading are asking for it. putting yourself out there on social media or in the public eye, you could have to do some public speaking. Um, if there's a meeting, if not multiple of importance, whether that's an interview or just a different kind of meeting for your job or for uh, your business, you will do very well. Again, very well spoken and you're commanding that attention. And I do feel like you're getting through to the crowd or the person or people that you need to uh, convey whatever it is for you. Beautiful. I feel like you are just leaving people impressed, period. Um, I'm hearing who doesn't want to be a Sag. The lovers in reverse. I do feel as if there's some of you who don't love what you do for work. It's just a job to make money. So be it. <laughs> Interesting. Um, the Ace of Swords, because I really do feel as if you are gaining clarity in regards to how things are meant to change moving forward, potentially in that specific, within that company or within that department. Um, it could be who's staying, who's leaving, how uh, the rules and regulations are meant to switch up moving forward. Um, it could be more in regards to how you're meant to switch up your business. You may not love one if not multiple adjustments. And so there's a need to have patience in regards to that as I see the temperance card. But I also feel like Spirit's saying, if you don't love what you do, then you can make a change moving forward. But I feel like some still might not wanting that security. I feel like Sages in general love that security, that stability of having the money flow in, having that guaranteed financial success. But Spirit's saying it's important for you to feel fulfilled, to love what you do and to uh, just shine glow even more through your work it reminds me of me doing these readings yes it depletes me at times but it doesn't typically feel like work for me even though it is lucrative in the end and it helps people and it fulfills me okay and so there's a need for you to think maybe or rethink for some uh what what do i want to do with my career how do i see it unraveling um moving forward in a positive manner in a fulfilling manner some of which are being reminded that what you began or what you're continuing, whether that's that one of not multiple jobs or you're running your business, if not multiple, that is your destiny, it's your purpose. And it's helping you succeed more so moving forward in general. Um, and it potentially could help people, probably does if you break it down either way. Um, but being reminded that you are doing what you're meant to because it fulfills you and you genuinely like it, right? Um, even if somebody else might not or um, may not if they were in your shoes or in your seat. Interesting. Um, the death card in reverse, a focus on what's not meant to end. Some of which this is a career choice, if not multiple, maybe it's meant to in the future, right? Um, it feels like kind of a reminder that most things are temporary, but there's something that's meant to go the distance. And so that's uh, a feeling of a reminder, right? Your business isn't going anywhere. Don't fret. It's meant to succeed, to go the distance, to blow up moving forward in a positive sense. This job is not meant to end if you're worried about uh, wanting that or needing that security moving forward, that stability again, um, the finances flowing in. But I do also feel like there's a focus on a commitment, say a living situation and or a car contract that isn't over, some of which might desire that ending. Uh, but I do feel like the majority of the reading, this is a positive thing having that roof over your head, that guaranteed place to stay, right? For you and um, potentially your loved ones. Um, but I do, I'm getting these together for some reason. The lack of an ending for you individually, for a lot drawn to the reading, leaving you with more success moving forward, okay? Especially throughout this month, being highlighted. What else do we have for Sag? Let the clarity give you comfort is what I'm getting as well. The Seven of Swords, oh, interesting. Okay, there might be one of the multiple people you should steer clear of. Uh, sketchy is what I'm getting, untrustworthy, gossipy, um, toxic, steer clear, especially if they have bad energy. Why would you even begin to consider uh, associating yourself with them? Um, but you might feel like somebody's a bit grumpy at home and or at work. Uh, I just feel like you need to cope with that. They, this could just be a true annoyance um, or concerning even or both. But the Seven of Wands, all the meanwhile, is actually what we got. So I really do feel like there's a lot coming towards you, a lot to deal with. Again, look at these two together. A bit of a, I want to say defensive energy about you at times with um, responding, approaching things, uh, potentially when it comes to the way somebody, if not multiple people, live and or work. Um, but I do feel like there's 
again, the same messages coming through about protecting your money, potentially protecting, uh, defending what you are choosing or have chosen and your, uh, what you've been working on potentially again, what's meant to go the distance. If you need a new situation and a new door to open moving forward, you have a lot of options and you're being reminded of that online. I want to say could be through certain synchronicities through a tarot reading, but it feels very much a push to say you need a new car. You get pushed to go on one of the multiple websites and now you see all the affordable options for you specifically. And it gets you thinking about what's my price range, okay? Or remembering just that. And therefore, how much money do I need to invest in that moving forward? When can I actually legitimately, um, realistically make that come to be for myself? Uh, but you apply that to your situation because it could be a job, it could be um, a business location for you, not wanting to run your business from home anymore for some. Um, you might be pushed to or continuing to work remotely from home, uh, even though you work for a company. And this may be complicating, but comforting all the meanwhile. And so I feel like at times, even say, especially if you work from home, but even though, even if you're working uh, at a company in a different location, there's a responsibility that you have to truly tap into at times to just uh, be mature and get things done right to be one's own independent boss in a sense even if you have one of not multiple bosses um, just to get the job done but i also feel like this is talking about all that you have to accomplish it's like this never-ending workload once you finish one thing it's on to the next or you get given uh, you're given uh, something else to get done or another list of things it's like the exhausting life of a sag but i feel for the most part it's rewarding enough and fulfilling enough to um to make this not a bad thing, but there are times where it just leaves you feeling quite depleted. The one way this is coming up in the upright position, they're saying there might be certain endings or a push to adjust certain financial spending habits um, or who you're associating oneself with or, you know what I'm saying? But it could be more so in regards to you thinking about an ending you desire moving forward to improve things, to enjoy yourself more or just have more comfort and peace. You deserve that, especially if you're a light worker. But there's a focus on your Sag mind, um, your Sagittarius mindset throughout the month of April in regards to you efficiently manifesting at this time and moving forward. So if you expect the worst when it comes to where you're living uh, and or working, or when it comes to running your business, right, having certain obstacles you have to overcome at times, it happens to me all the time, you're going to end up manifesting more of that or just that in general. So why not adjust your perspective at times your expectations and manifest more of what you desire in things getting done in an easier manner sure at times there's still going to be obstacles sure there's still going to be that annoying person or people that you have to cope with deal with or even steer clear of uh, more productively but you can manifest positive things more money coming in all right sag believe that it's possible more success for your business and or one of multiple jobs or again, it could be multiple businesses. More attention if you need to gain that to see that online platform grow or that business, uh, they're saying prevail. I just feel like you're meant for a lot of success being drawn to this reading, but at times you get so caught up in the mundane tasks or just the obstacles, the annoyances, that you lose sight of that, uh, at least to an extent, if not fully. Um, yeah, look at that. Let's not focus on what we've lost, right? Financial loss, uh, a situation potentially. Uh, don't expect the best because when you turn this in the reverse and you expect the best for oneself, watch things pa uh, pan out for you even better than you once would have or are expecting, okay? Um, it feels like you're being backed up by the spir spiritual realm all the meanwhile. But there's also a focus on you needing to trust your intuition, okay? Um, when it comes to where your money's going, should I spend my money on this? Is that going to be wise? Think about my financial goal, if not multiple. Should I be, again, associating myself with these people or this person? Is this the right time, whether it's due to energy, uh, they're saying conflict, uh, obstacles, it, we'll just label it. Um, is this the right time to get this done? And should I come back? Is it going to be smart for me to step away from my work, from this environment, even if that say that's at home, for the time being to come back in better energy or to steer clear of what's making it harder to get this done or just doesn't feel good um, but it feels like you're thinking about where your control lies I can't control these people of annoyance or just how people are living and or working I can't control how this is run this work situation 
Um, I can't control how people, again, are living. So I'm going to just focus on my work. I'm going to focus on improving my finances, cleaning things up, um, potentially keeping things tidy and organized because I feel like you're being reminded as much as we're highlighting the beauty and the power of your mind, um, your external reality, how neat things feel on your desk, at home, you name it, um, around the work environment in general. This is going to affect your mental state, at least to an extent. Um, needing you to be very clear-minded, very thorough in what you choose to do and hold back from. And you know what I'm saying? Um, needing your strategies to be quite on point, to keep one's mind clear. Um, but I do feel like, once again, this is a month where you are seeing the abundance rain on in. And part of that is money, all right? And Spirit's saying, going back to the overall message before we wrap this up, this is a month, the month of April, where the abundance will change your life forever, all right? So I hope this was truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light. Go enjoy your month. And I'll definitely see you next time.